NTV News with five-time Emmy Award winning anchor Ron Burgundy. Joshua Guar, sports. Anna Banana, weather. And your reporter in the field, Gravy Yammy. This is NTV News at 8 o'clock. Good morning, everyone. I'm your host, Josue Aguilar, and with me as always, the Ron Burgundy. Hello, Northview. Today is Tuesday, October 29th, which also happens to be National Cat Day. Here's a compilation of some cute cats. <laughs> Make fur you show love to your feline friends. <laughs> On this day in history, 18-year-old basketball prodigy LeBron James scored 25 points, grabbed six rebounds, and dished out nine assists. His debut was one of the most impressive in league history. He had only graduated high school a couple months prior. Pretty cool. You know what else is pretty cool, though? What, Ron? Our teachers and staff here at Northview Academy. Congratulations to Miss Fincham and Miss Holden for being named Northview Academy's Teachers of the Year. Make sure to thank and congratulate them all for their hard work. In club news, our beta club will have a meeting tomorrow morning at 725 in the forum. Remember, your payments for the state convention are due. Make sure you check the Google Classroom for further updates as well. The key club is still collecting craft kits for the Isaiah 117 house. They are close to their goal, so make sure you contribute and help out the community. While it is spooky season, it's also time for benchmark tests. Today is Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry. Wednesday will be Biology, Thursday will be U.S. History, and Friday will be Makeups. For today's scholarship news, the PEO Loretta McGoin Scholarship, $2,500, this scholarship is awarded to a young woman graduating from a high school in Sevier County and nominated by PEO. The nominee will compete against other nominees from throughout Tennessee. The requirements are 3.0 GPA or higher. They've lived in Tennessee for at least two years. Demonstrate excellence in character, academics, extracurricular activities, community service, and goals. Financial needs must be demonstrated. The, re the Veterans of Foreign Wars Local Post has announced contest opportunities available to teachers in K-12 and students in 6-12. through All you need to do is submit a three to five minute audio and written essay. This year's theme is, is America Today, Our Forefathers' Vision. The national prize is currently $35,000 and the deadline to apply is October 31st. On Friday, November 8th, we will have ASVAB testing. The ASVAB is an aptitude test that measures developed abilities and helps predict future academic and occupational success. There are only 30 spots available in total, so make sure you sign up before it's too late. Applications for the 2025 Governor's Schools are now open. These schools provide 11 challenging and highly intense programs for rising 11th and 12th grade students nominated by high school faculty. They offer a unique learning environment for students interested in the arts, humanities, agriculture science, STEM programs, advanced mathematics, physics, leadership, international studies, Tennessee history, or potential teaching careers. Students interested should obtain the application form from a high school administrator, school counselor, or other faculty member. Application submissions, information, and critical deadlines will be posted on the web pages of each individual Governor's School site. Man, that was a lot of news. Yeah, Ron, I agree. Thankfully, that's all for regular news, so now... On, on to sports. <laughs> the basketball team will be hosting tryouts for the 2024-2025 season on November 4th. To be eligible, you need to have a valid sports physical upload to the Activate website. This Thursday, our football team will take on the Sullivan East Patriots in their last game of the regular season. Even though it's a bit of a drive out to Bluff City, I am positive our team would appreciate the sport. You know, speaking of sports, um, Julius Caesar was my favorite NBA player, and, you know, he's, he's done phenomenal. Well, that seems to be all of our announcements today. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Have a nice day, and you stay classy, NBA.